Hey you guys, Peacemaker here. Got a short one for you today. We're going through Psalm 2 today. Psalm 2 says, Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and their rulers take counsel excuse me, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel against, together against the Lord and against his anointed, Chemeshiach, I believe. Let's see. Oop. Honors by talking to himself. Right. Against the Lord, against his anointed, which is Mashiach or Messiah, Messiah saying, which is, by the way, Jesus, let us break their bonds in pieces. Let us cast their cords from us. So really quick, guys, today we're going through Psalm 2. We're doing it because I want to talk to you about the Illuminati. I want to talk to you about people who rule this world truthfully. Um, or at least have enough power and influence to think they do. Obviously, there's a conspiracy here. There, there has always been a trend in a conspiracy. Um, that's a nice shadow on my face of my phone. <laughs> Let's try this. There's always been a conspiracy to rule the world. There's always been people behind the scenes who are trying to rule the world. Sometimes they were in front of the scenes to rule the world. Go read Daniel chapter, I want to say, well, whatever Nebuchadnezzar's dream was. Um... The head of gold is Babylon, that's Nebuchadnezzar. The shoulders, or I think, of silver were Medo-Persia. Funny that there's two of them, Medo and Persia. Um, the bronze was iron bronze uh, midsection. Would have been Greece. Alexander the Great and whatnot, which there's a crazy study. Go figure that out. He didn't destroy Jerusalem because the high priest brought out Daniel to him and said, Hey, look, our God told you we we're coming. Go look that up. Um, so after the bronze was iron legs, those iron legs were the Roman Empire. They split off into two, I believe, as well, east and west. So that's a pretty accurate little projection. And then the last one is Ten Kingdoms, right? With uh, the toes, basically, which were mixed of iron and clay. And then the rock, which God has hewn without hands, that's Jesus, comes back and smashes all of it. So that's the new world order that's not so new. There's been one, two, three, four, five at least world orders. I mean, if you count Egypt as well, that would almost be like six or somewhere therein. Maybe seven if you count Nimrod. At which point, that makes fun. You know, it's the completion, right? You've God has allowed everything to happen just as it has on purpose. And he will rule and crush it all whenever he wants. The Illuminati, these people who have more money than brains, like the Bilderberg Group, like the World Economic Forum, like the... Rothschilds and and what's the other one? Rockefellers, all these in cahoots kind of families that have been part of the medium in Project Mockingbird and other projects throughout history. Look at Project Paperclip. Look at Project Dominic. Look at Project Fishbowl. I'm saying, guys, this government has been pulling the wool over our eyes for years, and just like Kennedy, right? We have and always will be opposed to secret societies. Plow. Make you think, huh? So here we are. Me just airing out some conspiracy baggage. It's not really a conspiracy if it's been proven, though. Right? I mean, wasn't it the CIA that just admitted that Harvey Oswald was one of their operatives at one point? So anyway, here we go, guys. We're going to keep trucking. This video is going to get me banned for freaking sure. 
Sorry about the language. All right, and cast away their cords from us. So these people do not, who are unregenerate, the nations, the kings of the earth, say, "Hey, I don't, I don't want anything to do with God. I don't want anything to do with Jesus. I want their bonds, what they've told me is right and wrong, off of me. I want their cords, that pesky old Bible and such. I want it all away from me." He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. <laughs> You think you can draw your next breath without God? You're funny. The Lord shall hold them in derision. That means he will make sure that they are confused and confounded in all their ways. As they try to take over this world, they will not make it. There's only one who rules this world, and it's the Lord Jesus Christ, the anointed of God. So kings of earth, bow down. That's Phineas, right? Good band. You should check out Phineas. One of my favorite bands of all time. And then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me, to, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. And you shall break them with a rod of iron, and you shall dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. When did David do this? Never. Is it kind of about David? Well, maybe. Is it more about Jesus? You better believe it. We're talking about world orders here. There is a godly world order coming too. And he's not asking permission, folks. He's going to break it all. Now, therefore, be wise, O you kings. If there's one thing I could instruct my Congress, my, my house, my representatives, my supposed false president, you know what I could tell them? Now, therefore, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are those who put their trust in him. So yeah, guys. God's coming back. He's not playing. He's the Lion of Judah, the King of Kings. Anyway, guys, I hope you're right with him. You need to find him if you haven't. The Lord Jesus help you because he's never far from you. If you seek him today, he will be found by you when you seek with him with all your heart. Jeremiah. I pray in the name of Jesus that you be blessed today. Peace.